My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to the Winding Classic Afterbirth. Okay. Oh, God, we're on a win streak. When did this happen? Was it Eden Hard Mode? I think it was Eden Hard Mode. Oh, don't judge me if I did this incorrectly. Okay, we've got nine slightly, slightly above average fire rate. I mean, below numerically, but above average in terms of goodness. We've also got the Book of Sin. It's pretty good. Honestly, if you have nothing else, the Book of Sin is a pretty damn good item. Gives you a random consumable every four rooms. Basically, I mean, it's kind of like a little chest or a mysterious sack. Kind of like one of those, to be honest. And those are completely fine serviceable familiars. And this one doesn't even take up a familiar slot. It's got all the bonuses with none of the downside. Now, okay, it's an infested. Gave me three spiders. I guess I'm happy with that. Starting with a HP up is, oh my lord. We got the mind. So this is one of the lost unlock items. I cannot recall exactly what this is achieved from unlocking, but what I can tell you is it gives you all mapping. So it gives you blue map, it, ooh, one up, okay, that's interesting. It gives you the blue map, it gives you the compass, and it gives you the regular treasure map. So I never need mapping for the rest of the run. If I get powerful, I can just probably speed run my way through this. I don't recall, but I think I've seen someone actually start a speed run where they found this item in their first room and they were like, I mean, this is infinite mapping. I guess I'm just going to have to go through it. it was, was it a speed run or a race? I think it was a speed run. I think it was one of the 9 or 12 character, 12, uh, I think it was 11 at the time, character speed runs. Okay. I do want to try and get two more cents while I'm on this floor. I definitely want to try and get a bomb because, oh my god, I know where the super secret room is. That said, the super secret room can be supremely disappointing, so I will finish the floor. Even if I get a bomb, I'll finish the floor before I use it, just in case I find a... never mind. Tinted rock, that was going to be. Oh! Totally works out for us. Watch battery greater odds that at the that <laughs> Abel's bad uh watch battery greater odds that at the end of the room I will be given a watch battery or a little charge a battery god if I could only recall what they were called uh which will charge my use item which is nice I let that one hit me because I was just like eh I'll waste this black art to do a little bit extra damage right now. Thank you for the damage and range up. Very nice. It's also one item towards our spawn transformation. Uh, okay. We can use bombs to get into the item room. There's also a library, which is going to be pretty important for us. Felt I would pretty much be able to just stand my ground there. Yeah, it looks like we can use the bombs for the item room here. Yeah, still. Nice. Virgo, refresh and protected. Now all pills in the run have to be neutral or better. Human Temesis is fine. I consider it positive. I mean, I guess if you've got a straight up Blackheart run, it's not good. But when Hematemesis is good, Hematemesis goes fucking off. The chains, huh? I can get all of these just by getting this. Change back to this. Bounce out of here. Nope, change back to this. Bounce out of here. Thank you. So I want to touch all of these so they can't appear anywhere else in the game. And especially because now they can't appear in libraries, which is the most important part of it. If they can't appear in libraries, and I find another library that has this many things in it, then there's going to be nothing that can spawn. Actually, is there any of those that I want more than what I currently have? 
Book of Belial, probably for the increased devil chance. I didn't even consider the possibility of wanting one of them more than... <laughs> more than what I currently had. Because usually when I go into a library, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Let's leave. Let's touch all of the books and leave, right? Because usually it's just bad. It's not anywhere near as good as the D6 or the, you know, something else that I'm holding. Usually I'm holding something better by that point. But Eden runs, especially in the early game, you get to experiment, pick up some new stuff. That's, of course, not to say that there's much experimentation in taking the Book of Belial. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's very, very well-trodden territory. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll stop clearing my throat as much at some point in the future. Ooh, I should go back and take the how to jump in order to get all of these, because that's a lot of bombs I can save. Like, either how to jump or a Hargalaz rune right now would be pretty swell. What am I, from the fucking 50s? Eh, swell, eh, see? Alright, we'll finish off the boss first, just in case we get flight. I really shouldn't have used that, because if I get Krampus in the deal with the devil, then I'm going to be sad that I haven't got the charge to fight him. Because I'd much rather get extra damage on a fight with Deal, uh, with Krampus than with Pin. Pin's so easy. I should have taken the health up before I came in here, but I'm dumb. And luckily it turns out not to have mattered. So, you know, take a lesson from me. If you're dumb enough, eventually it will be okay. That's actually way better in the early game, so I'll take that with me. Mm-hmm. Definitely got to get up on that how to jump, biz. Oh, God, I lost my opportunity to go into the boss trap room. That was really shitty. That was really bad play on my part. I should have gone in there before I went into the boss room, because, of course, if the deal with the devil wasn't going to take any of my health, and I didn't know for a fact that it would, then I'm just going to make a loss. God, that was bad. <laughs> I'm safe. God, that did not pay out anywhere near as much as I'd like it to have. Are you kidding me? These are my two... These are two items that I always want to get together. Can I get them both? How would it happen? Probably has to start with taking this. That's not going to go. That's not going to happen. How would this work? First off, I'm going to need resources. I'm going to need bombs. I'm going to need something like that. So, we're going in here. Well, that's not doing anything right now. Bombs are key. Well, if I had keys. So I'm going to have to go into the boss trap room. I'm going to waste all of this health doing it. No. Negate the Celtic cross effect. Okay, let's go in. That'll work. Thank you. Perfect. It works. <clears throat> Seriously. It was a super long shot, but you know me. <laughs> I gotta have my long shots. Uh, now I can go take everything and leave. And I'll be happy on the inside as well as on the outside. Uh, I can't afford, unfortunately, to also take the bomb. I'm one cent off that. That would be fun, though. But... Nope, this is primary. So, Mum's Purse. Why am I crazy for it? Because Mum's Purse will allow me to hold two trinkets. Mum's Box is the one that I should have been asking why am I crazy about it. Uh, the reason I'm crazy for this item, the reason I'm goo goo for Gaga, the reason that I wake up in the morning is because this item is so damn cool. And it seems so unassuming. And it's so simple as well. 
any trinket that has an effect that can logically be doubled will be doubled if you are holding the trinket and mom's box as your use item. I love interactions that are like, oh, you're holding this use item, sure, but it gives you a passive benefit as well as its use benefit. So its use benefit is it will give you a trinket for room charge. Its passive benefit is that it gives you plus one luck while you're holding it, and it will double the effect of the trinkets you're holding. So for watch battery, I don't imagine it'll have an effect. It might just make it more likely for me to get a battery after completing a room. For the paperclip, it doesn't make sense. There's no logical doubling. But for something like Cancer, which is negative two tier delay, it has a logical doubling. Negative four tier delay. Okay, we'll definitely go in here because there are a few items that I will work really hard to get. I cannot tell you how close I was to saying there's a few items I would work really hard to get, specifically restock. I cannot tell you how close I was to actually uttering those words. I really wish that I had, now in retrospect, of course, because then I'd be able to say, holy fuck, I'm psychic. But now I have to think, holy fuck, I'm psychic, and hope that you are too, so you can read my brain and figure that out. Nope. That guy was trying to spit some goo at me. No. Obviously not going to be great. Uh, bomb our way in here. So they're not going to be identified because we don't have PhD, but it's still going to be worth our time to use all of them. All of them, of course, being the uh, pills, because we have Virgo, which means that none of them can be strictly negative. Although, there are pills in the neutral pool that are actually strictly negative, which is bad. And something that, as soon as Afterbirth Plus comes out, I'll create a mod for to fix. I'm sure that there will be people who make single-purpose mods for stuff like that as well. But I'll make a mod, and I'll make a video explaining why I've done it. Because it's basically a balance change that they need to do. Because it's... it's it invalidates a lot of the way that items specifically work. Like, neutral, bad... Sorry, neutral, negative, and positive item pools. Or rather, pill pools. Are a great idea. They really are. And you know what? I'm even fine with PhD and Virgo leaving neutral pills in your rotation. I'm even fine with neutral pills being things that have no effect whatsoever. That's cool as well. They are, by strictest definition, neutral. But what makes you larger is not neutral. It isn't. There's nothing neutral about that. It makes your hitbox larger and makes it harder for you to dodge things. There's nothing actually good in this game about having a larger hitbox. If there was, then you know what? I'd, uh, I'd be fine with it being neutral. Even worse than that, I'm pretty sure question mark, question mark, question mark, the one that gives you Curse of the Maze, is neutral as well. In fact, I know it is. Because it, uh, it's the one pill that doesn't strict, like, it doesn't actually give you a description of itself when you have PhD. So if you get PhD and then you get question mark, question mark, question mark, you just don't use it. But, it's... That's a great example, because there used to be a pill that also gave you a curse. And, or there still is a pill that gives you a curse. It's called Amnesia. And it gives you Curse Lost. But it's a negative pill. So they knew enough to say, oh, okay, this gives you a curse, therefore it's negative. So it shouldn't appear if you have PhD or Virgo. But then in Afterbirth, they added another pill that gives you a curse, and it's neutral. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't actually make sense. And I realized that you can use Curse of the Maze in some interesting ways to try and get some things out of it. I know that you can try and cheat yourself into item rooms. You can even try and cheat yourself into secret rooms. But that said, that is not a good enough reason. That is not enough to make it neutral. And also, I'd be very, con very, very surprised if that was actually a consideration that was in the developers' minds. I think 
more likely it was just a complete oversight. They didn't even think about it. I'd be happier with it being a complete oversight than with being a just bad design decision. TLDR, I am going to make a mod for that to fix it. <laughs> I didn't want to get into talking about it because I was like, I'm going to get into talking about it and then I'm going to get too into talking about it and it's going to be a little weird. All right. I'm going to waste some people's time, especially for the people that have heard this argument before. So I tried to stop myself from getting too into talking about it. And then all I did is I started myself on it. God, let's just talk about the stain. Let's just talk about the stain for a moment. Oh, that's bad. That's worse. I'm going to have to play the self-sack room to try and get myself enough. One moment. Yo, stain, pop up. Thank you. I'm going to have to play the self-sack room in order to try and get myself enough money to get restocked, though. Uh, awesome. I'll leave the spirit hearts in this room. So now I can play the self-sack room once, twice, three times. Three times guaranteed. The rest of them are on edge. Like, I don't know, maybe, possibly... We'll see. So, perks would be good to take before I start self-sacking. But, uh, full health would be better to take afterwards. And full health can be in my rotation, but Bad Trip can also be in my rotation, which would now be a full health. So it's twice as likely that I'm going to get a benefit from low health uh, using this pill than it is from me wanting to use it on high health. So that's what's powering my decision-making right now. Got one penny from that, that's nice. I could just blow up the donation machine. I totally should have just blown up the donation machine. Oh, it's a full health. I was right. But now that I've identified full health, it's more likely... Well, I mean, it's more beneficial if this is perks. Paralysis. Nope. Uh, I tried. Flight would be so good, though. Just look at all those. Look at all these tickens. Okay. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Okay. Maybe you're coming home with me. I also purchase a charge. Uh, no, I definitely want to try and secure, thank you, a, an arcade next floor, because then I can get more money and then I can start powering a restock engine. Now, we can actually be helped by getting an arcade next floor, which ends up giving us an IV bag. That's not too far of a step, right? That's, that's a pretty logical step. That can totally happen. But even better would be if we also ended up generating the Swallowed Penny Trinket. Okay, we did get an arcade. Uh, there's a boss trap room up there. I should probably check that first. Just in case it has something I need to immediately take. Plus, this is a double-sized room, so I'll have a battery charge immediately ready after finishing it. Or a full charge immediately ready. Okay, that's Stud Finder. Stud Finder is interesting. I'll come back for the Master of Paperclips if I need it. But Stud Finder means when you blow up rocks, you've got a greater chance of under that rock there being a crawl space. 
Which is interesting because I always assumed crawl spaces were completely predetermined. But this... I mean, this would then have to have a chance of just creating one out of nowhere, right? I fucking hate this version of Chubb, by the way. It's way too quick. I'm surprised it's all hell that I only took one hit to it. I also hate this version of Chubb, because the worst part of Chubb is these eyes going around the room. And this Chubb is like all eyes. Starts with the eyes on the screen. Worst of all time. I think it wouldn't be so bad if the eyes weren't so heavily affected by knockback. Damn it! Because when you affect the eyes by knockback, you actually make it way easier for them to hit you. Because you slow down their momentum across your plane, and then they're more likely to actually come in contact with your hitbox. Because if they slow momentum across your plane, but they're still moving in the other plane, they're going to be covering more ground more slowly. So it's kind of like a chopping action they managed to do. Real annoying. Uh, yeah, alright. I'm a wild dude. Let's take some wild dude risks. I wouldn't, of course, do this if I didn't know that I had a health up <laughs> sitting here, like, next to me. Sorry, a health up, a one up sitting right next to me. Oh, that was dumb. Back to life, though. I have a perfect tear blocker, and I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, let's get hit by tears. That's the Ryan Pearson way of doing things. Protect your shield with your face. Hmm. That's my Dark Souls strats. I was even considering giving the one up to the... Uh, donation machine. Uh, this should work. Yeah, it totally did. I was even considering giving the one up to the blood donation machine. Just because that would be... Really cool. Really desperate, but really cool. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. Okay. Uh, fuck. I have to complete a double room, unfortunately. That's annoying. If I was completing just a single room right now, then I would end up with a full charge and I wouldn't be wasting any charges, but... I forgot to plan that out. I didn't hear the explosion I wanted to hear. There we go. Perfect. Uh-huh. Interesting. I like where you're going with it. Let's finish this charge first. Okay. We'll... St no, we're, we'll, we'll stick with this for the moment. I don't want to play both. Actually, I can play both, assuming I don't want to play the Devil Bagger twice. So you can play the Devil Bagger twice per time you get hit. But only if you're standing next to it the entire time. You don't really have enough speed to go in and out. So play it twice and then play something else as well. But I can do this. So I should have been doing that the whole time. Like, definitely. There's no good reason not to have been doing that the whole time. The Devil Beggar typically pays out for the first time on the sixth hit. Unless you're in greed mode. I have no fucking clue why this is, but if you're in greed mode, it usually pays out on the first, uh, sorry, the fourth hit. Don't ask me why. Someone has pre-fed the demon beggars in greed mode. That's what I'm assuming here. Beautiful. We just want as much money as possible. I don't really care about how many times I get hit. 
Uh, was that a full heart in the... Uh, I don't know if that was a full heart in the boss trap room, so I'm not going to bother going there until I have capacity to hold whatever is in there. So things that would make this more efficient. PhD. Uh, I think. PhD would make the blood bank and the IV bag pay out with one more coin than they usually do every single time I use them. Uh, humbling bundle, so one plus one would also be super useful because obviously I'd get two pennies every single time a penny drops. And hearts would become two hearts. That'd be interesting as well. Uh, swallowed penny, of course. Really big for this. Good, we got the IV bag. That's not actually invincibility that I can really do anything with right now, unfortunately. That invincibility is penetrated by your... by using the IV bag. You can't just be invincible and use the IV bag, unfortunately. Which is super annoying, because that used to be so fun to do. Uh... Well, first off, I need health. Because I really don't feel safe. I just walked into that room and I was dead. So, fine. Let's pay this guy off. He's most likely to give us HP. There we go. I'm fine with taking HP as an item, of course, because I have none, first off. Greater chance for non-specific heart drops to be spirit hearts, but I don't want to have spirit hearts. Not really, unfortunately. So I can't take that. Plus, I don't know which one of these I'd want to drop right now. Probably stud finder. I'm not encountering... Uh, encountering... Encountering too many rocks. Enunciate, Ryan. Please, just throw the words out of your face with some fashion, please. Just put some effort into it. What do we got here? Beauty. Ha! <laughs> Definitely should have come here first. Uh, okay. Take that. Take that. Take another one. We're so close! So, with restock... I'm trying to think. Which, as you must understand, is very difficult for me. How many times have I told that joke now? Does anyone want to go back and count... Uh, I guess it would have started in the XCOM Enemy Unknown series. So if you want to go back and start watching episodes from when I didn't know what mic quality was, feel free. I still had the same microphone then as I do now. It's just I now know how to use the microphone. Or at least I now know how to use it better. Who's to say that in six months I won't look back at this episode and go, wow, I didn't know how to use a microphone yet. There's a little vision behind the curtain. Getting better all the time. All right. Take Curved Horn, four damage up. Pretty easy decision, to be honest with you. All right, now Frail. It's okay, we'll be able to kill this guy quickly because he's... <laughs> Uh, flimsy is the word I was going to say. What'd you think I was going to say? Hmm? Don't presume. It makes a pr pre out of Sue and me. So, don't do that. Alright. Red hearts, here we go. Boom! The biggest red heart room of all time. Yes, I mean, it's okay. I mean, there are some red hearts in here. I ain't going to act like I'm disappointed by the amount of red hearts, yo. That could be really interesting, actually. We can't use the Joker yet. 
Because if we end up getting deals with uh, deals with the devil, then we're going to have to trade away our red health, and we need our red health to play the IV bag. No, we can't use the deal. Ooh, what are you? See? How is one makes you... No, just let it go, right? Let it go, let it go. I haven't seen the film. There it goes, all of my nerd cred. It's okay, not everyone has to see every film. I just, I tend to find if a film comes out and everyone loves it, I'm way less interested in seeing it as a result of people liking it. Which is a horrible reason, by the way. I am well familiar, do not worry. But it's just how I am. Yo. I'm down with this. So, Karma. When you donate to a donation machine, it can give you good things. I ain't gonna list them all because I don't know them all. Ah, yeah, it can spawn beggars. It's one of the things it can do. It can also, it increases your chance of getting a lock up. I got three lock over the course of that. Look at these guys weaseling away all my money. <laughs> Weasel away all my money. Okay. Okay, we got the mother transformation. Retro. Retrovision, strictly bad, still in the neutral pills. Relax is fine. Uh, alright, I guess now I ought to Joker. No, I don't want to fight the Angel, because then I'll give myself a higher deal with the Angel precedent. I think that's it for this floor, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. No, that's bad. That is really bad. I can't take the IV bag down to the next floor. IV bag plus restock is like the cornerstone of the break. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not taking mom's box. I've had a mom's box run recently. This is a break. This is like the biggest break setup. I've got all of this by Caves 2. Are you fucking kidding me? There is literally, uh, actually, it's very unlikely. I was about to say, there's literally no way for the game to stop me from breaking right now. But it's very unlikely that I get greed in this shop, super greed in the next shop, and that prevents me entirely from the ability to break. It's not likely. But it also wasn't likely that I ended up getting enough money to take Mum's purse earlier in the run, and that happened. So... Strap in, fuckers. It's time for time to ride through the uncanny valley. Which I understand does not explain unlikely events. It just sounded like a turn of phrase that would be relevant in this scenario. Even though it literally is not. It refers to things not quite looking right and therefore being offsetting. Off-putting, rather. I know what it is, don't worry. When you started playing video games in the era that I started playing video games in, which isn't that long ago, but that's literally what I'm referring to, uh, then you start to learn what the Uncanny Valley is, because people started to learn, oh, hey, we can actually try and make things look a little closer to humans. And then they went horribly wrong with it. AMV nightmares. Uh, I mean, I do like uh, Midas Touch. I, I guess I should check to see if I have 
uh, Diplopia in here first. I don't. Well, game's broken though. So that's nice to see. Which means this becomes way more valuable. When you're going to break the game or when you're going to guarantee that you get to whatever amount of tears you want. Suddenly, tier to lay down becomes more valuable. Especially since it's so rare. Mm-hmm. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. That's paying for it at the moment. So we're going to have to put some effort into this break. We need a good shop item. I'm talking one plus one or... Uh, one plus one or PhD would do it. Then we'll start going out of control. Because right now we're actually making a loss on each heart. Unless we get something like a nickel or a dime. Like there. And then we make, like, a lot? That was really bad. The thing is, all you need is one dime payout occasionally, and you end up overall making money. It's not to say you're making much money, but... Overall. Uh, you know what? We'll start back from zero. Okay, and charge, baby. Sharp plug isn't going to be relevant for us. Sadly, because I can't really collect the money without moving, it's not really super efficient for me to just stand here like it is in some breaks although it's a very good way to visualize how we're making money gradually i don't want to have to get car battery that would be really annoying God damn. Steam sale would super help as well. Now we're actually making bad... Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's all we needed. Now we're back on track. <clears throat> Temperance machine obviously would help, but... Yeah, you know, I'm not going to call out the things that would help, but are super fucking unlikely. There would either have to be a room that spawned with a temperance machine in it, or just a tarot card temperance sitting around. BFF, unfortunately, will not help. I should complete more of the floor looking for red hearts. See if I can just accrue money in the natural way. No. Depth's one, so I do want to fight. Look, it's a golden poop. If that's counterfeit penny, that's actually incredible as well. God, I hate fighting this guy. If you aren't, you know, powerful enough to instantly destroy him, he's real annoying. Fires out poops with incredible speed. Oh, hey, that's counterfeit penny. That should be the game over. Uh... Fuck you, holy water. So with Counterfeit Penny, every single time I pick up a amount of money, any amount of money, penny, lucky penny, nickel, dime, 
Uh, I have a 50% chance for it to give me one extra penny. So even when I don't get good payouts, I'm still getting decent payouts. Like, that's horrible. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you'd expect me to get to 17 cents, but I'm on 21. So it's like it dropped an extra four cents on the floor for me there. Very good. This is definitely a break. Did I break last run? I don't remember. Last run was yesterday. You expect me to remember a whole day's worth of... Oh my god. Well, there go all of the things that could have helped us. Fun's over. Now it's breaking time. Unless, of course, you're one of those weird people like me that loves breaking above almost all else. There's a bunch of streamers that I've watched... Uh, I won't mention who, actually. But streamers who've said that, oh, no, breaking isn't interesting. I don't think it's fun. I'm not going to do it. I don't understand that opinion. To me, breaking is one of the funnest thing that's in... Uh, one of the funnest things, rather, that's in this game. It almost feels like you're outsmarting the game. Even though you obviously aren't, there is support in the game for breaking it. There are certain items that were quite obviously included for people who want to break the game. But still, it feels like it. Which is the key point for me, at least. Oh my gosh, Gimpy. Wow, Cricket's head. We're getting amazing items showing up. I am so glad that nothing atrocious has shown up, because there are a bunch of items that could show up and I would go, well, I'm not going to continue playing on this floor. Just got to hope greed doesn't show up next floor. Because this break might not last much longer. Entirely possible. All it takes is a really bad item that I don't want, like Isaac's Heart. Something. Well, actually, Isaac's Heart would give me infinite money. So I think I would take Isaac's heart, because then I would be able to break through literally every item in the game. Without ever having to stop to purchase anything. But, you know, uh, something could show up that would make me annoyed. And I wouldn't be able to take it, because I haven't got two pedestals, and I haven't got a way to re-roll that. I could buy through the cards until a Perthro rune shows up, or until a Dice Shard shows up, but both of those are going to be super rare. So now I can start playing away Spirit Hearts because I've got some extra Spirit Heart payouts on the floor from Gimpy. I'm fine with Butt Bombs. Holy Light is incredible. I really like Horror Babylon. That's just a use item. Generates a pedestal. It's fine. Sure, Lazarus is rags. Oh, Brimstone. I mean, my tiers are interesting, but if I'm not going to break the tier delay, like if I'm not going to break through all the tier delay stuff, then I guess it's going to be more interesting if I take Brimstone. Okay, I'm down with it. I'll take Brimstone. I don't think it's been too long since my last Brimstone run, but let's see if we can do some interesting stuff with Brimstone. I'm talking Brimstone, Epic Fetus, Sad Bombs. How about that? How about we get that going on? It's a decent charge time as well. Okay, so you can increase your luck as much as you'd like. Holy Light will only ever fire half of the time. That's its maximum cap. You can't get it to the point that every single tier or every single tick of a tier will fire a Holy Light shot. Which is unfortunate, but at the same rate, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Otherwise, you just go all luck 
win the game immediately with uh, Holy Light. If there were trinkets in here, oh man, that would be crazy. Also, piggy bank would super help. Obviously, PhD. I'm trying to single out the items that are in both the shop pool and the item room pool. Because they're going to be more likely to show up. Every single time you generate a new pedestal with Chaos, this is how it works. Every single time you generate a new pedestal, Chaos will go, okay, cool, what item pool am I going to pull from? It doesn't randomize all of the item pools and form one big item pool like many people assume it does. Uh, it just decides what item pool to pull from whenever you create a pedestal. The reason that's important... God, I'm getting very nasal. One sec, I'm just going to blow my nose. My apologies. God, that sounded horrible. Okay. The reason that's so important is because if it chooses the shop room pool or the treasure room pool, it'll still have a chance of making PhD or uh, piggy bank because it exists in both. Whereas if it merged all pools together, you'd assume that there'd only be one instance of each item in that merged pool, which means that you don't have a higher chance of getting those. Uh, this is just money this floor, isn't it? Oh, it's... Well, I... it is technically just money this floor. I think you'll find that turns out to be just money. Oh, Lord. It's that item. Oh. And it's not even going to affect my tier delay because... Well, tier delay, I mean, it's not going to affect my... Hang on, one, two, three, four, six. Okay, six total. It's not going to affect my shot speed. There we go. That's what it usually affects. What? I thought I counted correctly. Evidently, I could not count correctly. Good work, me. Mr. Mega. Sure, I'll just take range up, although it's entirely useless right now. Protecting myself with uh, Celtic Cross won't help, and that's sad. That's really sad. Curse of the Tower might actually mean that I have to just move on now. Rather than continue breaking. I do have some nice items. I'll admit, I definitely got some nice items from my break so far. I would have to rely on net not getting a greed or a super greed next floor in my shop in order to continue breaking. How about... I get myself to as much money as I can... Then I buy through all of the cards. See if I can get Perthro or Dice Shard. Perthro, Dice Shard... Well, I mean, Dice Shard would actually be worse right now. Because it would force me to re-roll my uh, ability to buy hearts in here. Hermit, fine. Teleport here. Nice work, me. Chariot. Okay. Joker. I already went to the deal with the angel. Hanked man. Two clubs. Fine. Lovers is nice. Gives me some more money. Blank card, two of diamonds would actually do this break as well without having to rely on the health. That's really interesting, actually. Use the tower out here. I'm, I'm trying to clear up all of the cards because I don't want to have to go through a thousand cards to find the card that I had. Blank card, two of diamonds. 
I mean, all I would need next floor would be a battery in the shop. I don't, I don't have the ability to use health for it because I've gotten the sharp plug. Did I get the sharp plug this run? Yeah, I got the sharp plug, it looks like. But I also got the battery that starts all of your charges with one pip. No, I don't want to use that. It would be so annoying to just walk back here. Ugh. I'm starting to get annoying cards. Okay, fuck, that's my second Joker. Fine. Hello. Hello again. I don't care about the deal with the angels anymore. The tower. The tower. Deals with the angel are old news. Fortune lies ahead. Fine. What are you? Full. Two of spades. Strength. Gosh, this size increase is a little absurd. Let's just get through all of these. Oh, God. Accidentally spawned another spirit heart. Oh, God. Another spirit heart. Every time I just try and play away my health so that I can pick up all the spirit hearts, another spirit heart has to spawn. Gosh dang it. Relax. Sun is nice. Full heal. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. It's also full mapping, but obviously I have the mine, so full mapping is never really something I care about. Okay, let's buy through some more cards. You tried. Two of diamonds, beautiful. That means I can get my money from a different way. Or I could take Temperance down to the next floor and gamble on getting an IV bag. That would actually work better. Hang on. Is that true? Do I take Temperance plus the blank card down to the... Yeah. How did I think of that sooner? So I take Temperance Blank card down to the next floor, and I'm guaranteed to eventually get an IV bag, but it also means that I get to take the blank card with me. Full health. Awesome. Is this correct? I could make like a money farm outside. No. We'll, we'll, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. It still all rides on is the shop next floor infested with a greed. Uh, it can't be. Perfect. There's a mini boss fight over to the left. Which means that mini boss can't be in our shop. Because it's too busy being elsewhere. Oh, hey fanny pack. You're going to make this a lot easier on me. So, I should make a money farming room. And probably keep it separate from the shop. Because not only am I going to be farming money in it. But, thanks to the fanny pack, I'm also going to be farming other consumables. So, if I get things like trinkets and I get things like... Just, I get things that I don't want to pick up. Then, I'm not going to want those cluttering up the shop. Okay. This might be our money farming room out here. Or very wide open space. This is a shitty room for money farm. And there's two pedestals in here and health. I don't know if I could have asked for more. Okay. Let's start farming that money. Go! 
God, Celtic Cross constantly paying out. As soon as I run out of health, I can pick up the blood bag and continue. Okay. Do I have charges in here? I do not have charges. Hmm. This could become a problem. A Leviathan transformation. Well, I'm going to need to get charges from somewhere. Get more money. Luckily got a lot of things that will give me charges eventually. Uh, I should also pick up one of these. And both of these. Mostly for the speed increase, but also because it's possible that it was trying to give me blood bags only because I hadn't picked up a blood bag yet this run. How many syringes do I have? One syringe synth oil. No other syringes. So that means I definitely take this. Speed is now max, which is completely fine if I have flying. Makes it easier to control. Then taking this will give me spawn. Nice. That's a lot of damage up, actually. For not much of a downside. Ooh, demon baby and then seraphim, angel baby. They're gonna get along like a house on fire. Get on fire! Ha <laughs> ha! Right. What are you? Dead should have been your answer. Okay. Oh, double charge. Perfect. Uh, 48 RNG? No, telepills. Okay, let's go back to our... Let's go back to the lobby to get ourselves some gold. Dun -dun -dun. Oh man, the luck up is real. Every single time I get hit, Celtic Cross is activating. You know what? I feel like... Uh, what's going on here is Celtic Cross must be luck-based. Don't you even fucking dare give me a blood bag. Either this is insanely bad luck, or it points out that I clearly didn't know the mechanics of the spawns after you play through a donation machine as well as I thought I knew them. If I had re-rolls, this would be amazing. I could just make a bunch of pedestals, but... <sighs> Thank you for the damage and tears. Uh... Yeah, right. Swarm Protector is nice. It's a guppy item. Oh, we're guppy. Interesting. That accidentally happened on my watch. Oh, I have Hive Mind. No, I don't. I thought I had Hive Mind. Oh, double charge in this room. Totally fine. Okay, if I just constantly tap here, I'll be fine. In fact, even just moving up, I get to play both at the same time. Nice. Stop! You fucker! You owe me a god! Yeah, oh, no! This is horrible! At least stop paying out so quickly! Give me the break that I deserve, you freaking freaks! Uh, I'm biting back horrible words so much. Pop up. Nerd. Ooh, credit card. Oh, uh, no, credit card will destroy the pedestals in the shop, which will actually make it impossible for me to get more things from it. Credit card is horrible for these kinds of breaks. Uh, tower Temperance, fine. 
Tilly pills. I can't even play enough of my health away to get in there yet. Because this danged constant invincibility that I get. Whoops. What makes you larger? Okay. So I want to come back to here, try and get into that room. One IV bag is all I ask for. And I ask for it very nasally. How... How do you not have the heart to give me a widowed orphan? Shh, not true, but let's... Let's try and pull on the tart strings. How do you not have the heart to give me that? I mean, we can't pretend that we didn't get some nice items. But still... Uh, freaking... Oh, man. I've got too much health. Well... Look, if, if the super secret room doesn't have some way to get hearts in it, then... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That's the end of the break, actually. Well, that was an anticlimactic way to end a break. Key beggar. Can Key beggar help me keep a break going? How would he do it? No, no, key beggar can't really help me, but he's going to be good. I've got 43 keys, it's okay. I'm going to make sure that I get down to enough health to go into the room over here. Telepills is like my last resort. Well, that's it. Uh, nothing really gone, unfortunately. So let's go pick up our go. Uh, sorry, our counterf counterfeit penny. And then sadly play this. I think we should pick up another one, just in case. Pick up enough of them in the game, understands. Okay, you don't want any more, I get it. I've had more than one IV bag in the game before. That's the... That's the reason this doesn't make sense to me, because I've had so many IV bags in the same game before. I can just, like, get to max health right now. Cool. Not going to, but cool. Uh, I'd have to get like a temperance card one in every three cards to really have it worth anything. So instead I'll just buy this. Come on, yeah, gotcha. That's a nice item that I'd really like to have. Okay. All spirit hearts. Let's get those red hearts back in my life. And then turn them into spirit hearts. <laughs> I am a cruel mistress. Um, I don't know why I made myself a mistress. Don't ask. I do want to get Trinity Shields. I can afford to bomb this machine a little. I've, I've been very kind to it recently. Which means that I can now afford to abuse it. That's a nice item as well.
Uh, okay, breakfast I'm not interested in. Alright, let's make our way out of here. Let's take the blank card. And move on, I think. Yeah. It's sad. It's a sad occasion. Credit card. Take things from a deal with the devil or a shop without paying for them. Rip. Rip. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Let's keep moving. I'm sad, but uh, the show must go on. Okay, what are you? So most of these are going to have the ability to pay me back for all of the uh, keys I put into them. Thanks to the fact that I have mom's key. Uh, okay, that would have been crazy earlier. How fucking dare you only show up now. Okay. I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh, nice. There's actually just a chest locked up in this room. Oh, Keybagger got some. Keybagger! Yeah, get your dick wet. Alright. Keybagger's gonna get those as well. I'm being very kind to Keybagger, if, uh, if I'm honest. Maybe a little too kind. How much damage up am I really getting from this? Six. I can afford to give six damage away in order to have a closer brigade. Can I? I mean, they don't even get that much close. Oh, never mind, because I hadn't dropped it. They get quite, quite a lot closer. Okay, now I have all of the keys that I'll ever need. All right, I'm going to keep the damage. The usual goal of the run, get as much damage as possible, right? Keep back on. On it. Alright. No, thank you. No need to slow down and go gambling. Although I do only have one orbital, which is slightly disconcerting at this point in the game. But we'll be fine, trust me. We don't need too many. Where we are going, we don't need orbitals. Oh, uh, wowzers. If only we had a dark bum. Or a bum of a supernature. I nope. I should definitely check this at least. Or not. Maybe it's not going to be important. Who knows? <laughs> Usually you have to make an opening dodge against the bloat. Not this time, bitch. I'll get it back. And let's get out of here. Okay, uh, sure, we'll check out the treasure room. Eight. Bacano, unfortunately. Bacano. Honestly, Bacano is going to be way more important overall. Like, it'll be something I can actually use. There's the other one. Basically unused. Ooh, AWAS, AWAS, answers. Really? Right, we'll use one AWAS, and we'll take an AWAS with us. We're basically just using this looking for a black market, I guess. So we need a crawl space first, and then it to be a black market second. 
Caffeine pill, fine. Bad guys. Load of poops. Alright, continue moving on. Thank you for the golden key. Very glad that lucky pennies can't be taken by Bumbo or anyone else. And golden keys, like special types, can't be taken. That's nice. That's a nice little consideration. Shows that some thought was put in for that. Because I can imagine them not thinking about that and it being a super annoying thing to have happen. Like, oh god, Bumbo kept eating all my lucky pennies, although you wouldn't know. Unless Bumbo got, like, more and more green as he picked them up. Oh, that'd be kind of cool, though. Not gonna go out of my way looking for... more... charges and stuff like that. I'll go vaguely out of my way to get to secret rooms. Because secret rooms can actually be super stupid. Oh, what? You're, you want an example of a stupid secret room? How about the one that we're about to go into, which is full of... Nope. That's not it. But the one that's full of runes. That's a fucking stupid secret room. It's insane. Get a blank card and that rune and that's game over. Well played. I'll go down to 80 cents. I really don't care to continue gambling. I have super high luck and I'm still getting shafted on gambling. Alright, we out of here. We outie 5,000. Whoops. My bad. Oh, come on! I avoided this fucking item earlier! It just shows up later in my run, you piece of shit fucking item! <laughs> Curse of the Tower has appeared in our run. Fun is officially dead. There is no fun. Can AWAS even work? Like, can it give me a crawl space on these floors? Because I I know it can't give you, you know, actual trap doors. But if it can't spawn a trap door, can it actually even spawn a crawl space? Because I'm assuming crawl space is a, a special type of trap door, basically. I'm assuming that's how they would be coded. Of course, this is all me working from assumptions, and uh, assumptions make an assumpt out of Sue and me. Again. And Sue's starting to get really angry about being made into things. What are you? Paralysis. Hmm. I can totally skip that room. The big one, that is. Nice. If only I now had anything to do with all this money I'm getting. Nothing. All right. I'm going to assume that just doesn't work anymore. Runes. Ugh, it's not runes. All right, Isaac. Quick. Show me the way to the chest. Thank you, Isaac. We didn't kill him. He just showed us the way to the chest. Lovely. Amazing. Awesome. Incredible. Okay, we got fucking stupidly good spawns there. The problem is, I have all of these charges, but I have a shitty rune that isn't going to really be capitalizing on the charges that I have. So 
So I think my first stop should be the super secret room. Since I do have Guppy Sail, I am bound by honor to complete the floor. Oh. Hello. Well, now I'm bound by honor to complete Mega Satan. Whoever heard of something as nonsensical as getting this powerful and not completing Mega Satan? No. You done? Nice. Alright. God damn. One Yarrow rune would be so insane. Then this could be a breaking run. Because at the moment, this is a fracture. Yo. You disappointed me, game. If you're disappointed and you know it, clap your hands. If you clapped along, you were straight up motherfucking baller. And a shot caller. Alright. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use the AWAS rune, because seriously, fuck that rune. There's still a chance that we get a... Guess it would have to be a sack that pays out with... Oh! Pays out with a Yarrow Rune. Petro would also be fine. I would take Petro. I would pronounce it incorrectly, but I would also take it. That's fucking amazing. Contract from below. Gonna get a shed load more chests now. Huh. That... I don't think affects us, but I don't want to know. No, I of course don't have the ability. I, I was just thinking, hmm, do I actually have curse blocking right now? I don't. I know that I don't have curse blocking because I had a curse last floor. Curse of the blind. Oh man, now I look super holy. Got the Seraphim, trans Seraphim transformation going on. Got the crown of light and the halo and the kind of like a little little bit of a little bit of a clean haircut going on. It's lovely. Uh, Ghost baby isn't part of any transformation I care about. How far am I from conjoined actually? Let's check. Zero, 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 zero. Wow, I have zero actual items towards conjoined. After all this time in the video game. What a wild, wild thing to turn and find out. And... No break! Oh well. We tried. Unfortunately, that means that the outcome of this run will have been spoiled a little bit by the title not having the word break in it. Uh, oh well. I mean, it would have been spoiled anyway because it would have the word break in it or it wouldn't have a word break in it. Perhaps this is a poor system. All right. Let's make sure that we are in the aura of suck oh we already killed you whoops <laughs> i really thought i no mega satan oh i forgot i had dad's key shit oh well still counts as a win my name has been rhapsody the name of the game has been the binding lines of after both hopefully you've been enjoying yourself anywhere near as much as i have if you have please click like it does help me get my content out to new people there's also a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the video game past present and future if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want more content like this then feel free to hopefully you've been enjoying yourself and we'll see you next time